Hey, how's it going, everybody? What's up? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you were fresh off my most recent video where I went over everything else that they talked about in the podcast. Other than all of the Lighthouse information in this video, we're going to be going straight into all of the new information that we have gotten on Lighthouse. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the trailer that they showed live on their podcast. So let's have a quick little watch of this, and then we will go into all of the other information that we got about Lighthouse. So lads, I'm just going to let it uh, play through, pause it here and there. So this is obviously the bridge that leads over to the lighthouse section, which is currently blocked off by the snipers. You can't actually get to this area yet. There's actually a lot of cool things. I'm going to pause here a couple of times just to show you guys uh, some minor details that you may or may not have missed yourself in the trailer. So this room, I am speculating to be a new marked room. We've got a pig head. We've got a bunch of cultist shit all over the walls. And there's something I'm going to show you guys later as well, which relates to the new trailer and why I think that the new trader might be a cultist. So that could allude to some of the things that he might sell. Could be all like cultist related gear. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But this could potentially be a new marked room located on Lighthouse. And I also think that this might mean that we might get uh, cultists on Lighthouse as well. Maybe specifically in the new area. Also, this new pier area... Once we get towards the end of the clip, there is actually a boat here, similar to the boat that is on the pier in Shoreline. And I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this is going to be one of the new extracts for the new lighthouse location. Here we have a hill that is coming down, presumably from the lighthouse. So we've got like a couple of like residential buildings, like a garage building akin to the ones we've seen on reserve. Two little residential houses over there. This picture here is kind of weird. They've got like... Just a dead body wrapped up in garbage bags. And they've just got like a nice HD camera. So it's like they were recording like snuff movies here or some shit. So I don't know what's going on here, but this is some creepy shit. So the door there seems to be closed. Maybe we'll need a key to get in here. Maybe it will be like the dead body in the... You guys know the dead body in the like jacuzzi on the ground level of one of the chalets? Maybe it'll be like that. This will be like a rare item room or something. I'm just going to pause this again here. This is kind of like a little militarized zone. We've got like a custom style uh, sniper building here and then a bunch of other like militarized style, you know, garages and like little bunker buildings here. So I'm assuming we're going to get like probably ammo boxes, weapon spawns, all that kind of stuff in this particular area. Maybe this is also going to be where one of the new scab bosses are potentially. Nikita did say that it's going to be difficult to get to the trader. You will see a lot of resistance getting there. So here we have the actual lighthouse itself. And these look like some of these weird cultist symbols that we saw in that marked room, which is interesting. So I think the new trader definitely has something to do with cultists. Maybe it'll be an expansion on the cultist storyline. So it looks very cool. This is probably one of the rooms inside the lighthouse. Maybe this is the trader's like stock room or something like that. But there's a couple of like lootable web or lootable... Um, what do they call like utility crates in here? So I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to loot this, but it could be where the trader like keeps his stuff, you know? Then in here, we just have like a bunch of bunk beds. So this is obviously where, you know, the people who live on Lighthouse will come and rest at nighttime. We've got some duffel bags, probably some food spawns, probably some med spawns and stuff like that in here. Maybe some weapons and stuff too, or potentially some rare items as well. I'm just going to pause here. This is the base of the lighthouse location. So it doesn't really look like there's too much here, but this is obviously the way in. This is the, the higher level to get into the tower of the lighthouse. And then the lower level is probably what we just saw, where like all the bunk beds are and stuff. Now this, this is a second room that has, again, this weird eye symbol on it, which is probably related to cultists. We've got a pig head again here. So this is more than likely another locked room that might have some rare loot in it. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that they're probably not going to be both the same as the marked rooms that we have on like customs, but maybe more akin to the marked rooms that we have on reserve where they have like two different loot pools. So I'm very interested to see what the kind of loot we're going to get in here is going to be. Hopefully it's going to be some pretty lit stuff. Hopefully they're not just open rooms with kind of not really too much in them. Kind of similar to the shoreline quote-unquote marked room. There isn't really too much great loot in there, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And 
then here we just have a look at the beach. So the beach seems to circle probably all the way around the lighthouse. There's likely some stuff behind it on the beach as well. Could be something similar to the current beach that we have on the other part of lighthouse where all of these crates and like random loot spawns are there. So this could be like military hose, maybe like other kinds of industrial loot will probably spawn along the beach. If I had to guess. And then we've got like a little resting area with some weird little cat character and then this cat that we've seen on other maps as well. Looks cool, looks cozy. And then just another little uh, side zone which leads up to the pier, I guess. So maybe this just to show that you actually have cover while you're running to the extract on the pier, maybe. So yeah, there we have it. Very nice. Oh, it looks like that's actually a different pier. So there's there's two piers, I guess, on the lighthouse map. And then all these residential buildings probably have some sweet loot in them. But yeah, I think this could be where one of the bosses will spawn. So that is actually it for the trailer. Now we're going to get into some of the information that Nikita was talking about on the podcast. The uh, new expansion is obviously a lighthouse expansion and we can actually go to the lighthouse area. So I just noted some things here while I was watching the trailer live. We've got new marked rooms, question mark. So these may or may not be new marked rooms. However, I would guess that they probably are. You know, you've got all the marked room shit on the walls. You've got the pig head. Probably something to do with cultists decapitating pigs and making sacrifices to their gods and all that other kind of crap. So we're probably going to get some more cultist lore uh, based around this expansion. Maybe some new quests from the trader that all revolve around cultists. And I will tell you guys why I think that when I show you guys the picture of him very soon. So yeah, we've got the new big pier area, which maybe has a new boat extract. I'm guessing that there's probably going to be two new extracts on this side of the map. One of them being the boat. We don't know about the other one. We've also got the creepy torture room. Cultist question mark, probably. Military zone. I'm assuming we might get rogues, if not a scav boss. Then he said something else as well here. He said the water treatment facility, you'll be able to explore it more. So I think when we get the new lighthouse expansion, they're actually going to expand upon the water treatment facility where all the rogues are. So that's going to be interesting. I've no idea what they're planning to do with that, but they haven't said anything yet and they haven't shown any new stuff with that yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. He also said that the new bosses are almost ready, but they're not ready enough. So they've got to do a little bit more work on the scab bosses, probably maybe their AI, maybe their design, maybe they're tweaking their loot pools and stuff like that. So we're going to have a couple of new scab bosses for the lighthouse location whenever all of this new stuff drops which is pretty awesome. They've also said there's a pretty big amount of new unique things that we're going to see on this map. So again, we're just going to have to wait and see. They didn't really allude to more stuff. Maybe in next week's tweets and Instagram posts, they might show some more stuff there. And they also said that not really soon, still trader related stuff to do. So we might get the expansion with the new stuff, but maybe without the trader for the time being, we'll just have to wait and see. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, I would rather wait until they have like the trader in and then we get this and then we get to experience it all in its whole with, you know, the scab bosses and all that other unique stuff there, which would be pretty cool. So the trader himself is going to be standing at the location and you will need a specific item to get to him and talk to him. So there's going to be some kind of item that you are going to need, which is going to be who knows what. I have absolutely no idea. However, I do have an idea as to what it might be. And I'm going to pull up this picture here right now that we got of the new trader. I don't think we got his name. However, you can see in his hand, he's holding some kind of cultist medallion. medallion. Uh, oh, his name is Varum Cog, Cog, Cognoscare. So I probably fucking wanked all over his name just now. So apologies for that. But he looks like just the most badass lighthouse keeper sailor kind of guy uh we're, i guess we're just going to call him seaman for the moment but right here in his hands he's got something that looks kind of like a pro kill medallion except it's got that weird cultist symbol that we've been seeing on the map with a bunch of teeth on the side of it so i'm gonna take a wild guess and say that this dude is maybe one of the main members of like the cultist people and he's obviously you know maybe in charge of some of that stuff and this is maybe where we're going to start getting quest lines completely related to cultists and investigating them and maybe getting cultist items and I think that maybe having a medallion like this is what we're going to need in order to talk to him maybe you have to acquire it from a cultist and yeah I don't know but really cool design he looks awesome 
I have no idea what kind of gear he's going to have. I can only guess that he will likely have cultist related gear and probably a bunch of other really awesome unique crap that you can only get from him. And also something that I just thought of uh, when I first saw him was what if we can go to him and get like cool cultist clothing for him, uh, which I think would be really, really sweet. So that is the new trader. Unfortunately, not much new information about him. Know nothing about his loot table, whether we'll be able to kill him and how that will affect our characters in game. But I'm assuming when we walk in there, it's going to be similar to when you go into your hideout, your gun just kind of goes away and you can't shoot and do anything. So what we have here is a couple of pictures of the lighthouse location. So this is like a little bedroom. They just kind of showed these very quickly on the stream and then uploaded them onto Twitter. So if you guys want to see higher definition pictures of them, make sure to head over to their Twitter. This is another shot of the room with the camera and the dead body. That door is closed and the door over to the left as well is also closed. So I think this might be a room that we need to get a key for. Maybe it's got like really good med spawns and maybe some rare loot spawns and stuff like that. Here we have another hallway uh, in the lighthouse location in the new area. This might be inside one of like the residential kind of looking houses or maybe it's like some kind of office building and this is like a library area so we can only assume that we might get intel spawns in here there's also a dead dude there that we can probably loot a couple of filing cabinets and stuff and then here we've got like a little weed farm kind of looking thing so i can only assume that these are maybe some kind of opiates maybe this is some kind of drug that they created to just put into the tarkov world and then we've already seen this except we have the plants here as well and the cute little cats and drawings and stuff this is just another screenshot of the front of the lighthouse building. And then another screenshot leading up to that little compound with the custom style little sniper tower on it there. So this is where I think that one of the bosses might be. And also potentially rogues, maybe. We don't know if there's going to be rogues on the new lighthouse area. Maybe it'll only be the boss, but I'm guessing we're going to get some, at the least, probably a bunch of scabs and stuff there too. So... Lads, that is all of the new information that we have on Lighthouse. As I have said before, as soon as we get information next week about all of the other stuff that they're going to add, I will make a video on that straight away and I will let you guys know exactly what they have announced and what they have shown off and what they have leaked and all of that other wonderful stuff that we love seeing from BSG. It was very nice to get a podcast from them, from them today. Good to see the guys. Good to see the new content that they're working on. And that is that, lads. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 100k. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're excited for and stuff you'd like to see in future patches of the game. Check the description down below for all of the other socials. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that other bullshit. Only fans. Just kidding. I don't have that. But uh, maybe soon, TM. Who knows? And uh, yeah, lads, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my dudes.